We are living in a generation whereby to many people electricity is ranked among other basic things like food, water, and breathing air. From charcoal iron to electric iron, from motor to electric grinder, and from chariot to electric metros. Without electricity, our life would be completely different. So the question is, how does electricity reach our home? In this video, we are going to understand how electricity reaches our home. You really don't have to be an electrical engineer to understand this. If you are curious about how electricity reaches our home, then this video is made for you. Electricity reaches our home in three major stages, namely generation, transmission, and distribution. The first step to obtain electricity is generation. Electrical energy is generated by conversion of energy available in different forms from natural sources. These natural sources include energy from the wind, water, solar, biomass, etc. And the place where power is generated is called generating station or power station. The job of all these power station is to generate a huge amount of electricity through different methods. There are different types of generating station namely thermal power station, hydro power station, solar power station, wind power station and many other more. In the context of Manipur, the Manipur Hydro Power Policy 2012 also known as the Loktak project, which is located within the district of Chichanpur, serve the demands of electricity all over Manipur. Since power plant produce much pollution to the environment, also affect the scenic beauty of the environment, they are located far off places from the cities. In order to reach electricity to our homes, we need a connection between the generating station to our homes. This is where the role of transmission comes into play. Transmission are of two types, primary transmission and secondary transmission. In primary transmission, the power from the generating side are step up using a step up transformer depending on the distance it needs to be transmitted. The longer the distance, the higher is the voltage. The reason behind is to avoid the losses of power, reduce wire thickness, and to save a huge amount of money. If you are wondering how reduced wire thickness play its role, well, a high amount of current needs a larger conductor to withstand it. The larger the current, the larger is the conductor. Hence, on transmitting power, current are kept low and the voltage are step up. When electrical power reaches a receiving station, the voltage is stepped down so that the power can be used at home safely. The stepping up or stepping down of power are done in substation. A substation is an assembly of electrical device that is installed to control and protect the transmission and distribution of power system. The main purpose of substation is to serve the continuous flow of electricity or power source from generating station or transmission system to the consumer ends. When the transmitted power leaves the substation, it is then passed to the distributor transformer to further step down the voltage so as to avail the use of electricity in your home safely. In this way, electricity are generated, transmitted, and distributed.